We all have powerful memories of being cooked for. That act of generosity and love, I think is still in there for most of us and is very powerful. The meal is this incredible human institution. When we learn to cook is when we became truly human. But we've lost touch, I think, with how that food got to our plates. I was gonna do kind of a deep dive into cooking and learn how to do it. I started with fire because that's where cooking begins. If you eat meat like this, you find out how good, really good meat is. Yeah. We're taking things that aren't immediately delicious and working flavor into them. If someone says, you shouldn't eat gluten, I would say, well, prove it. A decomposition creating wonderful flavor. It's a promise of something better. This is more important than people realize. When you let a corporation cook your food, they cook differently than people do. You have an industry that is trying to undermine cooking as an everyday practice. And if I lose that tradition of cooking, I've actually lost knowledge. For me, it's sort of like a rite of passage that was taught to me by my grandfather and my father and taught to them by their parents. In a kernel of grain, there's everything to support a whole life. Is there any practice less selfish? My mother did this. Any time less wasted than preparing something delicious and nourishing for the people you love. <laughs>